I'm outside in a damn G. Right outside. TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Alright, y'all, they're playing music, so I'm gonna be quick. This is the cane that I wanna cut right here. Oh yeah, by the way, I've never done this before. This is going to be my first time. I asked my mom last night, how how do you cut sugar cane? Or how do you cut cane? And she told me just basically try to twist it out of the root or break it, you know, as close to the root as possible. Whiskey sour in your breath Don't want you any less Ribbon bitten by your teeth So usually to travel with cane, you have to cut out the joints, like this is a joint, this is a joint, this is a joint. So you cut like around it and you take the part without the joint. So yeah, like this part. A few days before today, I broke down crying and got discouraged because the reality of me moving back to America started to take form. I fell back into a state of mind and let conscious mind or my mortal mind take over where I entertained the worst disempowering negative thoughts and held on to my griefs and regrets. Thoughts of being a failure because the plans I had in Jamaica didn't pan out or thinking I was going back to or had nothing in America because I had quit my job as a CCURN and packed all my shit and shipped it off to Jamaica. I had deleted my YouTube channel that was a symbol of success for me and the idea of starting from nothing crippled me. But of course there was no truth in all that. Thankfully that state didn't last long. I didn't dwell there. I soon remembered the truth and my god mind within higher consciousness resurfaced. I began again to only imagine great and beautiful things about myself. Health, money, love, and perfect self-expression. I remember there is no truth in lack or limitation. What God has done before, it now does for me and more. With God, all things are possible as long as I believe. I couldn't imagine a life where I actually run out of chances to make things right. So the most precious and beautiful gift is knowing I have unlimited chances to create my heaven on earth. That brings me so much joy. I was reminded of the story of the potter and the clay. Really, our thoughts, imagination, or higher consciousness is a potter, and the clay is like our states of mind, or the concrete experiences we manifest in our lives. The potter, us, imagination, works tirelessly at the wheel molding our clay until it's right and perfect in our eyes. So here's to new beginnings, enjoying, trusting the wisdom and mystery of God, myself more, overcoming regrets, embracing change with joyful expectancy of wonderful things to come in my life, and transmuting fear into faith. Good morning, y'all. So it is... Hold on. One forty-eight in the morning. So I'm just finishing up packing. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna try to sneak in these okra, some peppers. This is some pumpkin. Some aki. This is guava, guava juice, guava juice. Some sugar cane, cinnamon leaves, dried pimento leaves. That's some chino. I have some 
mint. Also have some cocoa. Yeah, so these are all the stuff I gotta put in the suitcase. So I'm gonna get started. We don't live on the earth. We live between heaven and earth in your mind. That's where you live. That's where you think. That's where you dream. That's where you calculate. That's where you make your mistakes. That's where you examine your feelings. That's where you receive your visions. And that's where you think about yourself and what you think about yourself and others. It's no more a great mystery once someone tells you, you are God. Then you know your purpose. What I was supposed to do when I first got up here, at least I decided while I was sitting there filtering some of this stuff through my head here, was to ask, can anybody in here heal another human being of any ailment he or she might have? Raise your hand. This is what you're supposed to be about. Why is our human beings and human nature being bombarded with a, a rash of disease? So the healing power of human and divine nature will come out and express. That's why it's happening. And it's not going to stop until you start healing. It's no fancy statement. Physician, heal thyself. If you're reading that and the scripture is talking to you and you haven't been to med school, you got to figure out what kind of physician the scripture is talking to you about. The only thing you would have then would be what? Mind position, meta position, heal thyself. Born with that power and that ability. Use your mind, it is your power. There's an answer, it can't wait till another day. Don't regret making mistakes. There's no need, it's just a game. Breathe out, it doesn't matter anyway. Breathe in, it's about happiness in the air. Take a slow, watch the road. Driving myself insane End of the day Hey y'all, so I'm at Newark Airport in New Jersey Um I'm waiting on my family I went outside, circled around a couple times I didn't see them I'm here waiting on my phone to charge up Because it's dead And I can't make any phone calls And I might just ask somebody to or their phone just if I can make a phone call. Yeah, but this is my first time coming to this airport and it was it was okay, but they did like pull me out and took me to this like special area to search my shit. <laughs> I guess they're looking for drugs or whatever, but yeah, they searched my luggage. But y'all, everything I got to keep except the peppers, which I'm so happy about. Like even the avocados, I was like, when the guy said this is okay, I was like, wow. I was so so surprised because 
I was nervous about it because I felt like I was going to be in trouble um, bringing the avocados. But even the okra, I was not too certain about as well. And he ended up letting me keep the okra. So I kept everything that I bought, that I brought, except for the peppers, which is okay. I was more, I was more um, excited about keeping the okra and the pear or avocado. So yeah, I am happy with the experience. I'm just super tired. Um, the flight was long. I mean, it was a straight flight, but I mean, anytime it's like over an hour or something, I just get like, I was so happy when it finally landed and I'm just so thankful and grateful that I made it here safely. Thankful and grateful for the pilots, the people that flew the plane. Um, just grateful for their services. And just happy to be back here where I can see my family again. So yeah, um, <laughs> I have a lot to think about. I have a lot to do. You know, a part of me is kind of like sitting here like, okay, now that I'm here, I'm back here in America, so it's like, what next, you know? But I kind of have um, a few things that I know that I need to take care of, or I need to sort out, so I'm going to be working on that. Yeah, I didn't want to do New York because New York is too hectic, and um, yeah, the guy... Guard, what do you call it? Those dogs, search dogs walking around. It's way more strict down there. Yeah, let me tell you, this guy that searched me in the special area that he took me to, I don't know why they they took me to the special area to get searched and everything. I don't know if it's because I'm traveling by myself, you know, I'm female, I don't know. But the guy that searched my bag, <laughs> he was. So like he was really um he was really good or in depth because he found some he found the peppers that I had wrapped up in my pajama pants but of course he felt it so he felt like there was a plastic um thing wrapped up inside the pants. It was really thorough because he was able to find little things that I had wrapped up but I think I kind of made it easy for them because if you put like plastic stuff wrap up you know wrap plastic stuff in the clothes they're gonna feel it they're gonna feel it so so with me flying into new jersey i didn't intend on doing it but when i had searched for the tickets somehow i ended up clicking on the new jersey flight and then i was just like you know i just went with it because i was like you know i must have clicked on this for a reason because if i had flew into new york they definitely definitely would have thrown out like the okra the pear um and you know like anything else with seeds and stuff but i did forget to mention that the guy at new jersey airport um, that searched my luggage they did say that if you declare stuff on the form that they give you to say you have you know fruits or vegetables or f um, fresh meat or anything like that once you declare it you can keep the stuff but I was just used to saying no I didn't have anything and just lying <laughs> thinking that that was better but he did say that if you say if you declare it on the form then you get to keep the majority of the stuff that you bring in don't regret making mistakes there's no need it's just a game 